Believe it or not, we are less than a month away from the announcement of iOS 19. Ahead of that launch, rumors about new iOS 19 features, supported devices, and more have started to surface. This brings us to the most common and often asked question. Will your iPhone support iOS 19? Every year, one of the most important questions is which iPhone models will support the newest iOS update. So far, for iOS 19, the rumors are a little bit conflicted. First, the folks at iPhone Soft reported that all devices that have supported uh, that supported iOS 18 will be able to update to iOS 19. So uh, this probably means that uh, from the iPhone 10R all the way up to iPhone 16 series. While the iOS 19 is right before the trigger, the easiest and the simplest way to unlock your iPhone, regardless of the iOS version, is by using the Paxi iPhone Unlocker software. It's a one-click, easy-to-use standalone software that is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So in this video tutorial, I'll be walking you through a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how to use this software to unlock your iPhone. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. It's good to be back. Launch any web browser of your choice and search for Passisa.com. That is the official website to download the software. Now, I actually don't know how to pronounce this word correctly, but anyways, forgive me. The link will be available in the description. These are some of the great features or functionalities of this software. It unlocks any type of iOS screen lock, removes Apple ID without a password, bypass or remove MDM lock without the credentials, bypass iCloud activation lock without Apple ID and a password, remove screen time passcode without losing data, remove iTunes backup encryption without password. These are all impressive features all right you need to check it out now the tool is available for both windows and mac os and i've said that before and it's free to download i've already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again once you're done with the download you just go ahead and install the file for mac os the installation is different you have to drag to the applications just like this and on windows you might just double click on the file to install either one of them is very simple so once you're done with the installation on mac you just go to your applications and then you go ahead and launch it. Before to, these two launches, uh, let me be sincere with you guys. This is one of the tools that has the simplest user, user interface I've ever seen. For a desktop application to have this very cool user interface is not common. Look at it. It's like more like mobile. So the first option is to wipe passcode. And then the second option is to remove Apple ID for open menu devices. And then the third option is to I remove MDM followed by screen time and it goes on. You can check it out yourself. We are going to be using the wipe passcode option. That is the first one. And then you just go ahead and click on the start button. But before then, let's connect our iPhone. What I have here is an iPhone 12 Pro Max on the right side of the screen. That is passcode lock. I, I do not remember the passcode and as, as you can see. Let's first turn off the device for iPhone X to the newer models. You first turn off the device that is that is locked. And then once you turn it off, you hold the power key and then you connect to the to the laptop. All right. You first turn off the device, hold the power key or the side key, and then you connect to the laptop. And then you connect to the phone as well. And then you keep holding the power key so the device is in recovery. So once the device is in recovery, you see you see, you see this image on the screen. That is a laptop with a lightning cable pointing up. That is to show that the device is in recovery. So you click on the start button. And so for some reasons, if the device, the software doesn't detect the device, you have to reconnect. And in my case, you can see the device isn't showing. So you have to reconnect. So automatically, the, the software is going to uh, find the latest firmware for a device. And you can see it says my iPhone 12 Pro Max is currently compatible with uh, iOS 18.5. That is the latest firmware. So if I click on the start button, it's going to download the firmware automatically and begin wiping the passcode. And also if you click on this option it's going to take you to a web browser to download the firmware and if you click on the last option it's going to um, automatically launch uh, the finder where you where you have to import it if you download it uh, manually once you are done importing you just click uh, you just uh, enter four zeros all right you enter four zeros to confirm that you are going to actually do this that is to agree yeah because you are going to actually lose or wipe the device, lose data. Mm. So you have to confirm.
Whilst these tools serve many variety of professional features and great functionalities, it's unbelievably cheaper than most of the tools in the market. With one lenses going for just $39, a month is going for $29. One whole lifetime, yes, you heard me right. One whole lifetime is just going for, looking for just $69. Absolutely cheaper, right? Yeah, that is how cheaper and great this software is and also has a great pricing. Now from the software, you can see it says the process is completed. The white pass code is successfully. So you have to wait for the device to boot up so you can set it as a fresh device. So like I said before, this software is user friendly and there is no tech skills required for this whole um, process. You don't have to be a nerd or a tech savvy to be able to use the software. All right. It's very simple. All right, here we go. So you just have to follow, skip, skip, skip to the next screen, home screen. You connect Wi-Fi if necessary, and then you set up the device. Alright, so that is all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till then, peace out.